I started doing gymnastics when I was two years old. Um, my mom and my dad were both collegiate um, athletes. My dad was a wrestler and a hockey player, and my mom was a gymnast. So um, when I was born, basically, I just had athletics in my genes from the get-go. I wasn't a child prodigy at all, by any means. I actually was really bad. I was about six years old, and a roundup back handspring is pretty standard for gymnastics, and I just wouldn't do it. I would come home really upset after practice because all the other kids could do it and I couldn't. But I told everyone, you know, I'm not a quitter. I, I want to hang out with my friends. I love doing gymnastics for the social aspect. And so if that meant getting over my fears, that's what I needed to do. When I was six years old, I watched the 1996 Olympic Games, and that's the first time ever Team USA has won gold. I still remember it today. I used to watch that tape literally every day and pretend I was them. And it's actually funny now because I'm friends with a lot of them. <laughs> and I used to tell them that I was their stalker. But um, yeah, that was kind of the first time I really thought I wanted to go to the Olympics. And people would ask me what I wanted to do with, you know, people want to be a, a police officer and a doctor. And I wanted to go to the Olympics. So everyone's like, OK, yeah, Sam, whatever. But it was always in the back of my mind. And like I said, I wasn't very good when I was little. And I definitely wasn't serious about gymnastics. I wanted to go to the gym to have fun with my friends, to play games, to learn new crazy skills. But it was a struggle for me to switch from the fun aspect of gymnastics to more of the serious goals and, and, and wanting to go somewhere and having it all come true and having to make really, really big sacrifices for that age. In 2007, I was I made my first world championship team, and we won a gold medal as a team, and that was the first ever gold medal, world championships gold medal outside of the United States. So making history like that was such a big stepping stone in my life, and something that I'll always remember. The next year, I you know I made the Olympic team, which is one of my goals from forever. I loved making that team for so many reasons. I mean, I worked so hard, you know, the discipline, the dedication, all of that. But um, to have people see me when I was younger and to actually see where I was then and kind of laugh in the face, laugh in people's face when they didn't think that I could, you know, ever make it to, you know, level 10, let alone the elite and let alone the Olympics. So um, I think it was kind of fun for myself to prove people wrong and to show people what I was capable of. But I think my most memorable thing was the first time walking out into the competition floor and seeing more USA flags in the audience than Chinese flags and that was you know I got goosebumps I get goosebumps thinking about it because being in being in China and seeing more American flags just shows you how much support and how much pride um, America has for their country and it's just got kind of like a reminder that everyone at home too is by their TV watching and rooting for you and kind of has your back and so knowing that is just you know, it helps you through it. It's it's great. It's there's so much pride and I just honored to be a part of it and on the team.